Hello everyone. Today I'd like to speak out of the Psalms, David's Psalm 27, verse 1 and verse 5. The Lord is my light and my salvation. Whom shall I fear? The Lord is the strength of my life, and whom shall I be afraid? There David says, the Lord is my light. Remember in Genesis chapter 1, let there be light, and there was light. It was spoken there, and that light remains ever the same today, and that is eternal light, that light of God. Light has no end, friend, it is eternal. Thus, when Jesus spoke of this light and pointed to himself, he said, I am the light of God. The world. In Colossians, Paul, the apostle, he speaks of a great mystery, which is to us Gentiles, which is Christ, light, in you, the hope of glory. So David continues and says, the Lord is my life and my salvation, and with this light on the inside of me, whom shall we be afraid of? Paul, to the Roman Christians, said these words, If God be for us, then who can be against us? Think of it just a moment. Our great God, if he is for us and he's settling all the, the, the circumstances, who really can be against us? The Bible once again says, Greater is he that is in us than he that is in the world. Greater is the Lord Jesus that lives inside of our lives than the enemy that's fighting in the Satan's Eden against you and I. Verse 5 would say, For in the time of trouble he shall hide me in his pavilion. In the secret of his tabernacle he shall hide me. He shall set me upon a rock. I'm encouraged by this. For David says, in the time of trouble, we are living in troubled times, sometimes troubles in our jobs, the world around us, in our families, but we're encouraged to hide in Jesus Christ, in his tabernacle. We have this place, rock of ages, left for me, let me hide myself in thee. Lord, let me hide myself in you, Christ Jesus, hidden in God's pavilion. It is a secret place. It's a secret city of refuge. You know, in the Bible, we could read about cities of refuge. Those that maybe had committed a crime and it uh, had not been approved yet, or it was a command of an eye for an eye and a tooth for a tooth. And this one that was under this criminal charge could run to a city of refuge to have a fair trial. You know, we're accused. We have an accuser of the brethren, that's Satan himself, before God accuses us continually. Just like the woman we find in Scripture that was taken to Jesus and was accused for committing adultery. But our Lord Jesus, he offers a pavilion of safety to you and I. He says, run into this city of refuge. Run into me. Run into this pavilion that you might have your sins forgiven. It's in Christ that we find refuge, my friend. It's in Christ that we should put a whole heart in for the for the run into him which is life. The trial has been settled in your favor. Jesus is your attorney. He is your judge. He is your jury. In that city of refuge, you are free from sin. You might say, how how is this possible? Bible says, for by one spirit, we are baptized into one body. That word baptized means that we are washed and we are cleansed by the blood of Jesus Christ into the body of Christ. So we run and we must remain. We cannot leave the city of refuge. Run into his tabernacle. You are hidden there. This excites me now because we're so hidden in Christ Jesus. We're hidden in the body word of the Son of Man, so much so that the devil can't even find us. 
the accuser. He seeks to destroy our lives, but he cannot find us. He cannot find us. How is that? Because we're in Christ, and Christ was made sin for us. When he died, you died in him. When he rose, you rose with him. Thus Jesus, he cannot sin. Also then, you cannot sin. Brother Branham would tell us that Christians don't sin. Christians, they make mistakes. Jesus would teach his disciples that if he, someone offend you or, or, or cause you trouble, you should forgive them 70 times 7. Now, if Jesus taught this principle, then he too follows his own word, and he is readily there to forgive you of every mistake that you made, for his mercy endures every morning. Great is thy faithfulness. So David writes in the scripture, The Lord is my light and my salvation. Whom shall I fear? Run into him. Run into his pavilion. Run into his place of safety and receive life eternal.